Well, in this video, I bring you the details of uh, Bobby Wine's interview on uh, Frost 24 yesterday. Uh, this is uh, the Buzz UG, and uh, my name is uh, Melad Milo, aka Fula. <music> Now, in most cases, we have seen when NUP President His Excellency Bobby Wine is moving around the country. He's being followed or monitored by military and uh, police, and they do this without his permission. Now, yesterday, Bobby Wine was hosted on uh, Frost 24, and uh, he was questioned why he's always being followed by military and police wherever he goes, and this is what he said. Uh... It's important to know that Uganda has been ruled for 38 years by General Yoweri Museveni, who has succeeded in crushing every opposition against him. Uh, he is facing a new generation of young people who have never seen another leader. And uh, my rise came along with the rise of a spirit of patriotism and a, a demand for change. Now, I lead a very vibrant young population that is constantly calling for the exit of General Yoweri Museveni. And the regime in Uganda believes that by gagging me and controlling me and restricting me, they are restricting the inevitable, the uprising of the people of Uganda. Simply because everywhere I go, the people of Uganda come in masses, thousands and hundreds of thousands, to join me and show solidarity. Bobby Wine was also questioned about his strategy and uh, what he's up to right now, whether he's waiting for 2026 presidential election or there is another way he's thinking of to get President Museveni out of power. And he said that, uh, you know, they are calling for a revolution or an uprising to get President Museveni out of power. We had an election in 2021, which my party and I strongly believe we won this an election that happened in complete darkness. The internet was completely switched off. Uh, the European Union and uh, American election observers were restricted from coming to the country. Radio stations were switched off. And myself and my entire uh, campaign were arrested. I was under house arrest while the rest were in prison. Many of them continue to be in prison. But that was not the first time. Dr. Kiza Besge had defeated General Museveni in 2016. But the same thing had happened. While there is an election uh, in 2026, we strongly believe that General Museveni is intending to do what he did in 2016 and 2021. Therefore, we are mobilizing the people of Uganda to affirm their authority to rise up non-violently and unarmed because it is provided for in our constitution to throw out General Museveni. So, yes, we are calling for civil disobedience. We are calling for a moral uprising, we are calling for a revolution. But if the uprising has not happened in 2026, we have made it clear that we are going to use every moral and every constitutional method to procure change. Well, Bobby Wine also called upon the international community to help in this journey of removing President Museveni because the international community is largely responsible for the sustaining of Museveni in power for the 38 years he's been right here. We continue to call upon the international community because the international community is largely responsible for the sustaining of General Museveni in power for 38 years. So if the international community can understand our plight and also align with the values that they profess, values like respect for democracy, human rights, and the rule of law, then we would have General Museveni out of power than 2026. Of course, right now, we all don't know whether President Museveni will run for another term or will front his son, General Mohozi Kainerugaba, uh, like the rumors are suggesting. But uh, Bobby Wine said that he knows very well that President Museveni will run for as long as he can open his eyes because dictators don't just live like that. I know that General Museveni will definitely run for as long as he can open his eyes. Dictators don't just live like that. But also because we have information that he has bodily weaknesses, he has been trying to force his son on the people of Uganda illegally because his son is a military general, a serving military officer, who is, according to our constitution, barred and restricted 
from involving in partisan politics. But his son moves from place to place in full guard of the military and police campaigning. However, we strongly believe that that is just a woodwink, that General Museveni is going to come back and will continue coming back the same way Robert Mugabe used to do. <music> And finally, Bobby Wine was also questioned his thoughts on the anti-homosexuality law that was recently passed in Parliament of Uganda and whether he would repeal the law or not when he finally comes to power. And Bobby Wine had very few words on this matter, but he ended by saying that he would respect all human rights. The law was passed here in Uganda and the, uh, the issue has been weaponized, especially against political opponents. So anything that I can say now that the law is in force can be used against me here in Uganda. But like I said, uh, we are firm believers in human rights for every Ugandan. I would respect human rights for all Ugandans. Well, there you go. That is uh, His Excellency Robert Chagula News Center, a.k.a. Bobby Wine, the president of National Unity Platform, in an interview with the Frost 24 yesterday. I don't know what you make of his words in this particular interview, but if you have anything on your mind, you want to say about his words, the comment section is very open for you. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and this is The Buzz UG. Subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok as well, Melads Milo, aka Fuller. Bye for now. Thank you.